we are going to, to use for reference uh, marks on the timing cover, like uh, the marks that you have on the screen right now, uh, marks on the harmonic balancer. In some diesel engines, we have marks on, uh, on, the, on the housing uh, where uh, the flywheel is located but it is not common, but uh, some engines have uh, marks on the flywheel. In general, the marks are on the timing cover and uh, on the harmonic balancer. What is the meaning of, uh, of the firing order? Uh, it's, it's basically the moment of uh, the, the detonation of the explosion in each piston. What is the order? Ah, uh, it's one, six, three, four, two, one or six to, yeah, depending of uh, the designer, the, the firing order is different. And depending of the angle where the cramping is located in the crankshaft, okay? Uh, this is very, very important. The firing order is, uh, is uh, normally, the firing order is located on the block of the engine or on the intake manifold on the engine. Uh, is uh, is uh, part of uh, the casting of the block, and uh, this is uh, for the rest of the life the order of that engine. Of course, if the engine use the crankshaft recommended by the manufacturer and the camshaft. Suppose that I, I have a this is uh, our engine, and the engine is rotating. Uh, our engine is rotating clockwise. Is rotating clockwise. Okay, and uh, in this moment, the piston is going up. Uh, this is the, the, the compression stroke. This is the compression stroke. And uh, of course, in compression, it's supposed that the both valves are closed. Okay, the piston is going up with the both valves closed. What do you think, in what moment, should be introduced the fuel? I am talking about the diesel engine. The, the piston is going up with, with air inside of the cylinder and the piston is compressing, compressing, compressing the air. Uh, but uh, in what moment should be introduced the fuel? A little before the piston reach the top of the center? Exactly in the, at the end? Or a little after? What do you think is better in your opinion? A little before, use in the moment that the piston reach the top of the center, or use before, or use after. The piston is going up, and before the piston reach the top of the center, I introduce the fuel. Ah, I advance the timing. Yeah. Ah, the piston is going up, reach the top, pass a little, and in that moment I introduce the fuel. I retard the injection of fuel. What is better, retard or advance? It's better advance. Why? Because when you advance, you control the speed of the, of the engine. If you retard, you inject the fuel too late, you overspeed the engine and you can destroy the engine. This is the rotor. This is the rotor and the rotor, the copper of the rotor, is rotating 360 degrees and pass the current to each cylinder, to each cylinder in the distributor cup, okay? And the rotor is rotating because the rotor is connected with the gear on the camshaft and in the bottom is moving the oil pump. For that reason, you need to move the oil pump until, until the, the rotor, if everything is at zero position with piston number one on top the center, the rotor should be pointed with the cylinder number one when you introduce the distributor. I am going to show to you what is the zero position with the stroboscopic light. I connect the light, the light is working. I connect to the battery, the battery positive and negative and connected to the cable number one. And right now I am going to point it the timing light exactly Exactly, and I am going to check what is the mark on zero. The car in this moment is in idle. It's in idle in this moment. 
it is located at number four. Okay, at four degrees before before top the center is 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 the the idle position for this engine. We are going to check the marks. Uh, this gear, the gear that you have, this is the uh, fuel injection pump gear, and this is the mark according with the manual, and this is the cam shaft aligned with the crank shaft according with the manual, and the piston number one is in top the center. Yeah, cam shaft and crank shaft are aligned according with the manual. This is a uh, this is a uh, uh, for Lima. And the mark of the fuel injection pump is at zero position. You see the mark? It's a perfect, perfect alignment. In this moment, the engine is at zero position. And I can remove the fuel injection pump easily. Okay, this is the mark of zero position. Zero position. And the top mark is the six degrees before. Okay, in this moment, it's in zero. And this is six degrees before. This is the this is uh, the the mark where you should let the, the fuel injection pump align it in order to start the engine and run the engine appropriately. This is the procedure to remove. Before you remove the fuel injection pump, okay, remove the fuel lines on the at the injectors. Immediately you separate the fuel lines. ABYC recommendation: cover the injector with caps, plastic caps, and cover the fuel lines in order to avoid intrusion of humidity, ABYC question. We are going to do exactly the same, exactly the same for all the cylinders. All the cylinders exactly the same. And right now, if everything is in zero position, you are you remove the gear, you remove the gear of the fuel injection pump, and right now you are ready to remove the bolts, to remove the bolts carefully and separate Separate the fuel injection pump with the lines properly covered and send to the machine shop in order to be repaired the fuel injection pump.